overdrive to fight the flu. Today, hospital leaders announced that they're adding more beds for the influx of sick children flooding the emergency room. Last week, doctors say nearly 400 young flu patients in one day they saw there. KXAN's Gigi Barnett has new details. For the last three days, Leslie Sopko has been in a feud with the flu. Her four-year-old daughter, Riley, somehow caught it. When she woke up around 1 o'clock in the morning and she was burning up. Sopko was able to keep it from spreading to her and her two-year-old, Sydney, thanks to Tamiflu. And doctors at Dell Children say many parents in the same boat. A spike in cases came last week. Last Monday, where we saw almost 380 kids in a 24-hour period. And that's, for us, that's unbelievable volume here. Now, the pediatric hospital is setting aside an additional wing to handle the flu influx. Dr. Eric Higginbotham runs the ER. He says this year's strain is much more infectious than previous years. January was the worst month by far. We saw, you know, almost 1,500 more kids in 30 days than we had in years past, and the majority of those were flu cases. Last week, at what doctors thought was the height of flu season, the hospital set up eight extra beds. They haven't had to use them yet, but that could change. It may be we're on the tail end of that. Now, in years past, I've said this, and then, of course, two weeks later, it surges back up again. As for Riley, her fever's broken, but mom says the battle isn't over. We're just sort of making sure that we keep everything clean, that we sanitize. And keep it at bay. I'm Gigi Barnett, KXAN News. Bell children set up tents in the last big flu pandemic in 2009. They screened patients in one tent and treated those with less severe illnesses in other. Austin Public Health says 63% of those who have died from the flu were over the age of 80. Flu deaths have spiked this year. So far, 32 people have died in Travis County. That is up five from last year to the year before and 17 three years earlier. So how do you know if your child's case of the flu could get worse? The CDC has a lift, list of symptoms that you should be concerned about. They include fast breathing or trouble breathing. In addition, flu-like symptoms getting better and then coming back worse than before could be a sign of trouble. And for infants, there are additional concerns. Take note if your baby isn't producing tears while crying or has fewer wet diapers than usual.